we're starting a, a, th a four-part series on arthritis and everybody's heard of arthritis not a lot of people know what it means or what it is arth means bone itis means inflammation so it's basically if, or actually arth means joint joint inflammation inflammation of the joint is the, what it literally means uh, we're going to talk about it in relation to the spine uh, in, exclusively the neck and back now it can of course occur in other places in the body and I treat a lot of people with arthritis outside of the spine in extremities and you know and legs and arms but uh, and hands and feet but for today's sake I'm going to just talk primarily for this series we're going to talk about it in the spine um, there's two types of arthritis there's osteoarthritis or OA that affects 95 percent of the population uh, there's also rheumatoid arthritis which is RA but that only affects 5% of the population. So we're going to talk about osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. They have to be on medication. They need a specialist, a rheumatologist to see, uh, to treat. And uh, I do treat cases with RA, but I'm treating them as an adjunct to their medication, I'm not trying to cure their RA. We're treating their, uh, to reduce their inflammation, calm their symptoms uh, versus to cure the RA. OA, uh, which is much more common, it affects almost all the population at some point in their life. Uh, it is, is something that everyone has to deal with, almost everyone. Uh, so we're going to talk about that primarily in this series. And t today's re uh, series, basically osteoarthritis is an overgrowth of bone tissue. So when the bone grows out over the joint, that's osteoarthritis. Now, just because you have arthritis doesn't mean you also have to have pain. Okay, those two are, are correlated, but they're not equal. So I, I may have a person who has pain and no arthritis. I may have a person who has arthritis, tons of it, and, and very little or no pain. Uh, or used to have pain, and then we were able to calm it down. So just because you have arthritis doesn't mean you're doomed to this life of pain, basically. So um, I'm going to show you today what a normal spine looks like in the neck and back uh, from the side view on an x-ray. Okay, and I'll use a uh, little visual aids here to also demonstrate what normal looks like. So let's take a look here. We've got from the side view of a neck or back, you've got normal bones that are square shaped. You've got normal discs that are big and fat. And you've got normal holes behind the disc where the normal nerves come out. This is the spinal cord coming down from the brain. So the brain sends information and energy through here like a river. You can see it here. Uh, this is a normal view of the cervical spine. Hopefully this comes out in the film. I know it doesn't always look so great. Uh, but basically this is the back of the, of the head. You've got a jawline with the teeth. And you've got a normal curvature in the neck here. The normal curve being 43 to 45 degrees. Uh, the bones, again, are shaped square on the x-ray. Shouldn't have jagged edges. Uh, the spaces between them are where these discs are. And the discs should be equal equi-spaced and equidistant between the spaces. The third thing I look for are these spaces where the where the nerves come out. And you should be able to see some of these, if not all of them, on the cervical film. You can see them easier on the lumbar. The lumbar film, same deal. Here's the lumbar curve. Should be 63 to 65 degrees. Square shaped bones. They're larger in the lumbar, obviously. You have L5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and a tailbone here, or sacrum, at the bottom. The space between is easier to see where the discs are because the discs in the lumbar film or a lumbar film are larger than the cervical. And that's because they're larger in your body. Uh, behind the discs are these holes where the nerves come out and you should be able to see them. You should not see a thinning of the disc. You should not see a, a, small, a, a tightening of the, of the hole behind the disc around the nerve. You should see this curve. Okay, That's what you want to see. So, Basically, this is the bone structure you want to see without any arthritis. Now, going forward, in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about the stage, the first stage of arthritis and so on. So we're going to do about four parts of this video series uh, so you get a real good understanding of what arthritis is, what it looks like, and how you can prevent. We'll talk about how you can prevent it and how you can detect it early to prevent it from getting worse if you already have it. I'm Dr. Leninger. Have a nice day.